I use this bait all year long. It's good from six inches deep to 60 feet deep. I mean, it comes in a lot of different sizes and it really, really, really works well. Now the trick to this jig, and I'm just gonna throw that down for right now. The trick to this jig is this clear wobble head uh, plastic that they have on the front of it. And it, it takes that from being just a regular jig to a jig that's got tremendous swimming action. You can use it any way you want it. You can throw it in a brush pile and let it fall down. You can uh, fish it off of drops. And, and we like to use it a lot in deeper water where we've got a ledge or something like that. It's a tremendous ledge bait. But it's a bait that's made just to throw it out and wind it back in slowly. That's one of the key things in fishing a crowner jig successfully is to fish it slowly. You can put a tail on it. You can actually fish it without any tail at all if you want to. Now, you can use a variety of things. You can actually just put a straight worm. It's got some sort of like a sneaky snake, something like that. Uh, I like to use this Lucky Strike Ringmaster because it's got a split tail. It's a critter bait is what this is, but it is dynamite action. I'll flip it down the water here and show you what it looks like in a second, but it's dynamite action. When it's that, this bait, this, this bill up here on the front of it, this clear plastic bill, it causes that bait to wiggle and wobble as it comes back. And, and this tail will be going like this. And it's got absolutely incredible action. It's basically a swimming jig type bait, but now you can fish it on the bottom. Like I said, throw it out, fish it just like a regular jig, any way you want to fish it. Now here's one of the little tricks that I do, and I do this, I've been doing it forever since I was a kid. If I'm using like a black jig, I'll put a brown trailer on it. We used to use pork chunks, actual pig pork chunk, pork belly pork chunks. If I was using a black jig or a black and blue, I'd put a brown uh, jig or pork chunk on it. If I was using a, 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 a like this color right right here is a, is a um, uh, the most popular color in the world, green pumpkin. <laughs> Lost the word breed pumpkin there for a second. But, uh, but I'll put a green pumpkin back here. If I'm using a green pumpkin jig, I might put a black or a black and blue trailer on it. In other words, why I, I mix those two, so I've got a variety of colors in there. And, uh, but you can, here's the deal on this jig. The main thing is to fish it slow. You just kind of want to throw it out there. You can let it drop. You can actually wake that bait and throw it and leave the wake just like that right there. And what it's doing, it's wobbling back and forth and leaving the wake. Basically, it's a spinner bait. Basically, it's a spinner bait without a blade, just like a spinner bait is a jig with a blade. And it's, you can fit that, throw it on top of the water, fish it over the tops of brush piles, down the side of logs, just like this. But you can drop it and fish at any depth. If you want to pitch this bait out, you're going to pitch it out by a log or a stump. Go ahead and let her fall straight down, just like you would a normal jig. Hit the bottom, pick it up, work it. Just slow up, let her fall. Slow, let it fall. I use the same rod and reel for fishing a scrounger as I would a regular jig. A pretty heavy action rod. I personally like six and a half or seven foot. I know a lot of the guys have gone to seven, six, seven, ten nowadays. I like a six and a half or seven foot. I fish mostly with 15 pound test line, except early in the year when I've got an opportunity to catch really big fish around really heavy cover. When I'm doing that, I'll move up to 20 or 25 pound test line. I like to use monofilament or copolymer. This right here is High Seas Grand Slam Select. Uh, you can also use a fluorocarbon line if you like. If I'm using fluorocarbon, I use fluorocarbon coated, uh, like a high seas fluorocarbon coated line, and it works extremely well. Uh, use the same kind of equipment with your rod and reel as you'd use in using just a regular jig or a regular spinnerbait. The scrounger jig is tremendous action without doing anything but throwing it out there and winding it in. It's an excellent bait for a beginning bass fisherman because all you got to do, throw that thing out there. Throw that thing out there and let her fall however deep you want it to fall and just wind slowly. That's about as fast as you want to wind right there. Wind slowly. That thing has got putting all the action that you can ever imagine. Swimming jig fishing at its very finest. A Jimmy Houston Legends Scrounger Jig. Thank you guys and gals for watching us on YouTube. We're going to be doing lots and lots and lots of YouTube stuff this year, having a lot of fun. We want to bring you along on every fishing trip with us. So if you enjoyed this, if you like it, tell your friends. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, and you'll be getting all of the great stuff that we do.